Hey guys, thanks for tuning to the channel. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks again. Oh, Bobby. Speed trial time, dude. Let's just cut straight to it, man. Speed trial with that thing? Man, yeah, yeah. get out of here. You know? Yeah, yeah, right? A lot of people are like, oh man, you're on the speed trial of Habu SS? Yeah, we are. And, um, dude, super aerodynamic, super pointy, rubber nose. Everybody's like, oh, the ugly wheels hanging down at the bottom. Yeah, you know. But uh, it's a beginner um, to advanced intermediate, I guess you could say, EDF. But uh, we need to see what this thing's doing, so we're gonna do a speed trial. Because there's a lot of people out there that want to uh, know how fast this thing goes. I'm guessing it's probably about 90 to 100. Uh, GPS unit is inside of here, Jeff. I'm gonna pop it open. It's nestled right there. And uh, she's live and active. And then uh, we've got the radar gun in the back, and we're going to do it like that. So we're going to have two modes of uh, getting it. What you think, Jeff? Let's do it, man. All right, guys. Like and subscribe. All right. And the wind's coming that way. Oh, yeah. Got the mask on. I had the mask on because my face was cold. But now I take it off. All right, so here we go. We're running with the 6S 4000. That's 4000 you had, right? Yes, sir. Yep. And so uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take it off. It takes off really nice, man. Look. Backing out of the power. It's not a it's not a bad flying airplane. That's half throttle. Oh hell, she's doing that vertical. <laughs> what in the world? Watch your heads. I do not know why it does that. It's doing this vertical thing. It did it last time. Alright, we're gonna bring it in. Did you see that, Jeff? Yeah. Absolutely no reason why it's doing that. But can we score a good landing though? Nope. Uh-oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. It wouldn't let me. All right, so we're gonna land under power. I have no clue why it's doing that whatsoever. No AS3X, no nothing. It's engaged, no safe. We're just gonna do a long roll out. I'm gonna get it low and then we're gonna chop it. Don't hit them trees. <laughs> Dude, it's doing it again. 4% up. Land the opposite way. Do something. Yeah, land the opposite way. around. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm gonna put it on. All right. And I'm just gonna chop it. I went high rates on it. That's real nice. Bouncing real good too. You can know where you gotta land it. I think I figured it out. You right. think it's your rates? No, it's not my rates. At all. It's only under power. So strange. You got any mixing in with the throttle? Nope. It's just bare bones flying, so it's strange. Here, we're gonna do a nice long roll out without all that bouncing. Chop the throttle. A nice glide ratio. All right. That's a mod. All right. You ain't gonna tear it up with those wheels. You're good. All right, coming in. I will say the, the, the landing gear on there is spot on, man. You're not gonna tear it up. That's the second time it's done that. We don't know why. Yeah, let's just take a look. Huh, oh, so look. Yeah. Oh. It's, yeah, it's not working. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The elevator is absolutely not working. Yeah. It's stuck. So that would be probably why it's doing what it's doing. That's why we make these videos. Yeah, man. What is that about, huh? You see that? It just went down on its own? 
I often wonder if this little, um, if you look at it, it's a weird kind of setup there for the, uh, the elevator setup, but it has a little wire running there, which is not weird, but it's just different for on an EDF jet. And then these two little um, clevis is holding it in. So I don't know if it's binding up or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, because look, now it's not even, but now it's doing it. That's very strange. There it is. Oh, the whole thing's moving. That's strange. All right, we'll take it apart. We're going to take a look at it. Back to the lab, Jeff. Bobby. Jeff, what's going on, This man? is like trial number 37 and a half. Dude, so the first time this thing did something crazy where the elevator, we couldn't really control it, right? You saw it. Yep. Not sure what was going on with it, but we got it down. Two times uh, before we uh, we crashed it, but uh, it never crashed, so we got it down. And uh, we got it back together, and uh, they put in a new servo in the elevator, and we're going to take it up and see what goes on next. <laughs> it did skip across the field and land in like a Dude, rock on water. <laughs> that thing bounced like three or four times. Uh, so uh, let's get in there. Let's get in there and let's see how it does. You All ready? right, brother, it's good. All right. Got a little 70 millimeter hobble action going on right there. What do you think? You know what? Let's go down the hill. <laughs> it's a little plain, but it, it zips, right? Yeah. You ready? Let's do it. All right. We're striking out all day with airplanes. Maybe this will be it. You ready? I don't think that one needs all that, does it? Nope. You ready? Let's go for it. Take it off. Uh-oh. Too late. We're up. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it's a weak battery. I couldn't believe you could hear me. Man, man Bob, uh, ain't nothing working today. Come no, on. man. No, it's one of those days, man. Yeah. All right, we're coming in. There we go. That's much better than last time, right? Yeah, right. Hey, let's swap a battery out and see what we got. All right, cool. All right, let's bring it back in. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> you going to go left or right this time? Yep, go ahead. Let me get up. Which way are we going? All right, you ready? Yep. Take it off. <laughs> it's that timing. Yeah, timing's off in it. But it's a good, it's a strong battery. All right. It only does that full throttle. We're good right there. That's 80% throttle. Scooting right along. I'm gonna trim it out real quick. It flies really nice. It's real smooth, real easy. And this is a. Uh, for the beginners, but it's a little hopped up, and so on a 6S. And we got a GPS module in there too. Super stable. That's half throttle, so it's not gonna be a speed demon. But it's low speed handling is really nice. And if you're thinking about getting into an EDF, this is a good one. What do you guys think? Pretty easy? Pretty easy. Yep. Nothing crazy. Full throttle. You know, nothing too crazy. It's nice though. It's not slow by any means. Uh, what do you guess? 80? Uh, probably about 75, 80 is what I'm guessing. We got the GPS in there. Probably at 90. Uh, TJ says 90 miles an hour. We'll find out. But guys, this is actually a pretty decent flying uh, airplane. It flies very similar to the Viper. I'd say it's a lot more stable at low speeds. And it's pretty agile. You can keep it tight in. 
it's flying a heck of a lot better than it did last time, <laughs> didn't it, Jeff? Let's take that vertical. All right. Not so much. It's not so much. But, hey, <laughs> It's not supposed to be. I'm gonna speak up for it. That was a vertical from a dead stop. Yeah, it was vertical. Still the vertical. Yep, yeah, wasn't bad. Respectable. It gets an honorable mention. All right, let's take it up there and uh, I'm gonna put it in a dive and see what happens, all right? Let's do it. Well, let's just hope it comes out. This is no AS3X, this is all us. It's doing good. Inverted flight's really smooth. Not a lot of up elevator necessary. I just don't like the landing gear. Nope, the landing gear, you know, they don't retract, but for somebody coming into this, it's, it's good for them. One less thing to worry about. No flaps. There's no flaps, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, we'll take it up and put it in a dive and see how it handles it, right? Before we kill this little battery. All right, here we go. And then we'll set up our landing. All right. All right, we're gonna land it so we don't <laughs> run out of juice there. The battery's talking. And we'll set up. It's very bouncy is what I've noticed. Jeff noticed it too, so we'll see if we can't score a decent landing. It bleeds off speed okay. It has a really nice glider ratio though. That's absolutely no power whatsoever. Haven't touched it yet. Haven't touched it yet. And there you go. <laughs> Landing gear can handle it. So. Boing. All right. Let's uh, see what the GPS says in there, Jeff. Do it. Not a bad little airplane. I mean, for somebody trying to get into it or a second uh, EDF. All right, you ready? What do you think? What do you think the speed was? Down in that dive? Yeah. 100. Okay. I feel like you cheated. Nope. 87 miles an hour. So there you That's go. That's it. Uh -huh. 87 miles an hour. Wow. Thing is That's slow. it. So it's not that slow. I mean, it's a uh, it's an EDF trainer. <laughs> it's the Habu SS. I thought it was going to be a little faster than that, but it's not. So 87. Um, and there you go, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Jeff, what do you got? Nothing, man. Do you like it though? I, I like it now that the uh, elevator's fixed. I do too. For sure. It flies the way it's supposed to, and it gets off the ground no problems whatsoever. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned. There you go. Jeff. Why are you sitting there with your chest all poked out? Like I'm cold, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so look, we're gonna give this one more shot, man. We got a fresh battery in there. Uh, I'm gonna take it up and uh, and cook and see how it does. All right. Good. Give it look, a fair shot. RV7 in the mix there. Yeah, the RV looks good, man. Look at the lights and everything. This is what this needs lights. Yeah, it does. But that's on a different level right there. You ready? I bet it's faster than the Habu. It is. <laughs> it with the motor have, upgrade. Yeah, it has a motor upgrade in there. And he gets better flight time. <laughs> I love that little RV. That thing is an awesome flying plane. If Horizon Hobby was smarter, they would make a larger size. Maybe they are. Who knows? All right, boys and girls, let's take off. You ready? Like and subscribe. Dude, that's got plenty of power. That's a fresh battery right there. Yeah, you can tell the difference. Big difference. This is the one that I should have put the... Uh, the uh, GPS in. Went around. Coming in. Oh yeah, that thing's cooking, man. That's a different plane with a fresh battery. How about that? Jeff, that thing's actually quick. It's quick, but it ain't fast. It's quick, but it's not fast. And it's 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 looking really nice. Let's see. Can we get in low though? Yeah, we can get in low, nice and dirty. Check that out. In the bowl. That's how this thing is. Check your uh, vertical. Oh wow. 
Vertical is much better, but it tops out at about 400 foot. There we go. Coming in real nice. Dude, this thing flies really nice, man. That's 50% throttle. I will say it is rock, it's, it's rock solid. It's a really nice fly. And if I could do it all over again, starting in the EDFs, this would be a really good candidate, Jeff. But you know what my first EDF was? It's a Stinger 90. So I'm ruined. And look, it can knife edge. Check that out, knife edge. Not that good of a knife edge, but it's doing it. It doesn't have the power to hold it. Nice. All right. Slows down real nice. I think we need to bring it in. What do you think, Jeff? Works for me. Look at that. Oh, now that was buttery smooth. Yeah, it was smooth. Really nice, man. It's a good flying plane. Really impressed with it, to be honest with you. I'm not sure why I'm doing it again. I don't know how many uh, milliamps I got left in there, but probably not a lot. Let's see if we can't well, it's not um, landing again. It's not spitting. Nope. Pulsing, excuse me. <laughs> like it's a gas motor. Look at that, man. It really glides nicely. Light flare. Very light flare, man. That's nice. All right. Well, like and subscribe. It's a pretty decent plane, man. Is it a keeper, though, Bobby? You know, because I got so many EDFs that it doesn't compare. But uh, for beginner EDFs, yeah, it's absolutely. For what it is, it's yeah, a good plane. for what plane. it is, it's a good plane. And, then, and for a beginner, yeah, absolutely, it's a keeper. You see how much fun I'm having with it? The key is, is to have fresh batteries with this thing because uh, it, it likes it. All right, we're good. See you next time, guys. Like and subscribe.